Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Vallejo's new um, Air War range. Now, they've released these two nice new boxes, as you can see here, which um, basically what they do is they fill in the gaps for um, the US Navy, US Marine Corps colors from the 70s to present. Um, this one here covers US Air Force colors, gray schemes from the 70s to present um, now boxes look really cool box art looks really good um, on the back even more interestingly we do get um, you know quite a a nice bit of detail and a lot of information on a whole bunch of aircrafts their color schemes their actual um, fs numbers and matching colors um, for all different aircrafts um, so what they have done here is they've gone off and they've really put a lot of research into you know the actual uh, federal standards colors to give you um, as close a matching color to the actual aircrafts as possible which is absolutely fantastic because when it comes to um, paint ranges I mean we could go on about all different manufacturers but Vallejo does seem to be quite a popular uh, manufacturer for the fact that you know they are so easy to use um, they they literally you can take these um, paints pour them in your airbrush and you're good to go maybe um, a little bit of thinners um, you know all all kind of depends now remember this is the model air range which is the um, black tops you have got the model colors which are like the white tops um, but this is kind of like the range you want where you can just pour in your airbrush and basically spray and go um, now with this particular these two particular sets here um, you know I say they they filled in a nice couple of gaps for certain colors and give us some um, good matches because um, I know with a lot of like the um, US modern aircraft stuff the best matching paints really were um, the the mr. hobby range which um, tend to can they can be a little bit hard to find i know models are go they've got them kind of readily available now um me personally they're not my favorite brand um but you know each to their each their own i do like to use vallejo and um uh, you know it is nice to see now that we've got some nice matching colors in the vallejo range so it gives us more more options um and you know because we're doing the actual f15 step-by-step -step video build right now there are um some nice colors matching colors for the f15 as well in here so i i might be actually using um these next week um for our f15 when we do some spraying there now let's just kind of you know talk through what we get now i want to kind of just quickly sort of give this a review now we've got two sets here um, and what we get is I've just got to kind of remember which one goes well right, that's that set right uh, we've got our US Navy and US Marine Corps colors set here um, now with this one we get eight, well each set you get eight lots of paints um, now with this one you do get um, which they almost seem to be sort of bulking um, this out a bit you do get a surface primer uh, which is already readily available so there's nothing really new about that you do get um, two other colors here as well which are um, 71097 and 71 um, 71 120 and now this is dark ghost gray now these two colors are already available which I have just here now these two that I'm taking here are from my set that you see behind me um, exactly the same numbers but they've changed the name they've changed um, 97 uh, medium gunship gray um, used to be gray primer and the uh, 120 US Air Force medium gray they've seemed to change the name to dark ghost gray um, why they've done that they're probably trying to sort of get their actual range sort of matching up with proper federal standards to um basically make things look more accurate which is 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 fine by me but then in this set as well we've also got um two more colors that is already 
available um, not really anything new about it which is one two one uh, which they call light gull gray uh, from my set just behind me um, um, one two one US Air Force light gray uh, basically again they've changed the name to make things sound more um, accurate also again we've got another one which is uh, 71114 medium gray which is from the new set and then from behind me we have uh, you know 114 again US blue gray so really in this particular set the US US Navy and US Marine Corps we have three brand new colors which we have uh, insignia white we've got light gray and we've also got dark gold grey um, and these sort of like filled those gaps for all our modern fighters um, which is rather cool um, but then moving along to the next set which is our US Air Force Colours Grey Scheme uh, Grey Schemes um, this one we've got sort of more but we've still got some kind of shall we say um, doubles shall we say because we've got again we've got surface primer that comes with this so you know again nothing new um, we've also got uh, 097 and 120 again in this box set so um, if you do buy these two sets you're going to be doubling up on you know a few colors here but then all these five here are um, nice new colors again we've got all sorts of colors here like uh, medium gray we've got aggressor gray dark gold gray uh, we've got light gray here and we've also got an ocean gray and these sort of like really kind of um you know they, they really sort of kind of give us those colors that um, we could only get in certain manufacturers like um, I know there's the F-15 that sort of nice blue tinged grey um, camo on top that I've been actually trying to search for and I did go out and I brought um, a, a can one a testers one just to try and find this blue but that actually got uh, that blue in here which is rather cool so I'm going to be experimenting which one is the best later in the um, F-15 step-by-step -step video build now these two box sets they cost around about £17 per box um, which isn't really that bad um, I mean when talking I know um, Vallejo paints they tend to sort of be around about £2 per pot so you um, you're not really kind of saving much by having you know going out and getting the set but these brand spanking new colors they um they're not available um in any other sort of form you can't buy them singly yet um so the only way to get these new colors is through getting these boxes which you also do get um a rather cool um color chart as well which is um quite handy to have i'll probably stick that up somewhere in the studio somewhere for everyone to sort of see um, but yeah I do like them um, I know there's quite a, there's a few repeat colors in here that's already available in their their um, model air range as it is and then the boxes themselves I mean the you know there's three colors in there where they you just get doubled up if you buy both of these boxes as well so uh, yeah in that sense it's not so value for money um but then i do like the new colors that they brought out here which is rather good if you do like doing your modern um us um, aircraft schemes as well as um, a lot of these colors as well can go on to RAF stuff as well so um you know a good color color range and a really good uh, manufacturer for doing paints as well especially if you're a beginner these paints are definitely for you so hopefully you've liked this nice quick um, inbox review of Vallejo's new um, air war range <laughs>